Translation, translation. What a depression. You never leave me alone. Although I want to speak on my own. You make my English shake. Because you're always fake. And forever a mistake. Hello, y'all. Well, after that little poem back there, yes, just to remind you that your worst enemy is the literal translation out the window. We do not want it here. And that's going to be especially important in today's tip or in today's lesson, because we're going to compare two words with which we have quite a bit of trouble or struggle differentiating work and job. So, if you care to know about the difference between these two words, don't go anywhere, stay tuned, because we're about to begin. Hit it! Okay, so shall we begin? Empezamos, shall we? What do you think? Shall we begin? Yeah, empezamos, shall we? Shall we begin? Okay, very good, let's begin. And the first thing to talk about is the nature of these two words, because they are quite confusing to us. Son bastante confusas, they are quite confusing to us because of their translation, por sus traducciones, as always, como siempre. So let's talk about the nature or the uses that we can give work and job. Let's start with work. So work, first of all, can be an action. It's an action. It's a verb. Yes, to work. So for instance, we could say, I work from nine to six, right? I work from nine to six. Or right now, I am working. I'm recording this video for you. So I am working, right? To work can be an action. The second thing that work could be is a place. Yes, es un lugar, it's a place. So, for instance, you would say that I am, I am at work. I'm at work. At work, not at my work, not at my job, not at the job. At work. Very similar to when we say at home. Actually, the same, it's the same. So, at home and at work. And something that I normally tell my students, algo que les suelo decir a mis alumnos, something I normally tell my students, is that the two places where we spend the most time are home and work. And in both cases, we use at. At home, at work. Los sitios en los que más tiempo pasáis, at home and at work. So, right now, I'm at work, right? But you can also go to work, not to the work, eh, not to your work. Eh. You go to work. You go to that place. You go to work, right? Vas al trabajo. Or you can come from work. You come from work. So I'm at work now. I go to work by train. I come from work at seven, let's say. Another thing that work can be is the result of what you do. El resultado de lo que haces es como tu obra. It's your work. And from that standpoint, desde ese punto de vista, we could say Picasso's work was revolutionary. La obra de Picasso fue revolucionaria. Picasso's work was revolutionary. Yes? So, work is an action. I work every day. I work very hard. It's a place. I'm at work. I go to work. And it's also the result of what I do. Now, this video is my work. You know, it's mi obra. It's my work. Esto que estáis viendo ahora. Yes? So, on the one hand, we have work. And on the other hand, on the one hand, on the other hand, job. And job is only a noun. It cannot be a verb. No puede ser verbo. It cannot be an action. A job or job is just a thing. Es una cosa. It's a noun, un sustantivo. Yes? Now, but we use it in different uh, scenarios, in different contexts. 
For instance, the first one, the most common one by far, the most common by far, de lejos by far, is employment. Employment como tu empleo, right? So, I have a job. Tengo trabajo. I have a job. Now, acordaros, no I have job. Uh -uh. I have a job because this is a noun and it's countable. Es un nombre y es contable. Os dejo por aquí una etiqueta de cómo usar el a o el an, ¿vale? De uno de los vídeos que ya vimos en su día. So, I have a job. You can have a job or maybe you can have two jobs or three jobs. Or maybe you can lose your job. Puedes perder tu trabajo, maybe. Or you can find a new job. Who knows, right? But es el empleo, job, employment, right? Excellent. Number two, job is your responsibility. Okay, so for example, my job as a teacher is to come up with, que se me ocurran, that's my job as a teacher, to come up with good examples for you to understand the things I'm trying to teach you. Yes, that's my job, to think of, to come up with new examples and good examples for you to understand what I'm trying to teach you. That's my job as a teacher. Your job as a student is to practice and do your homework. That's your job, job as responsibility. And then thirdly, job could also be a specific task that you have to do, right? Or that you need to do. You have to do, you need to do. It depends, right? On each situation. But for instance, have you seen the movie The Italian Job? Have you seen it? So you see, they're using the word job In that case, job would be como el golpe italiano, o algo así, because they were thieves, no eran ladrones, they were thieves. So, but that was a job, a specific task, right? But maybe I have a job to do today. Clean the house and cook dinner. That's my job today, right? For example, who knows? Then again, job is employment. I have a job, I have two jobs. I lost my job, I need to find a new job, right? It is a responsibility. My job as a teacher is to teach you the best way I can. But your job as a student is to practice and do your homework, right? And number three, job is also a specific task. Like, um, I have a job to do. No, I have something to do. I have a task to do. So, well, on the one hand, we have work, meaning an action, a place, or the result of what you do. And on the other hand, we have job which is an employment, responsibility, or a very specific task. Yes? So, think about those examples and that explanation because right now we're going to move on to a mini exercise to see how much of this you have assimilated and understood. So, let's get going. Let's do it. And in this mini exercise, as always, I'm going to give you some sentences in Spanish and then I'll give you some time for you to translate into English. Are you ready? Excellent. Let's get going. Number one. ¿Cómo sueles ir al trabajo? Hey, ¿cómo sueles ir al trabajo? Suelo ir al trabajo en tren. Suelo ir al trabajo en tren. All right, take your time. How do you usually go to work? How do you? Do, do, how do you, how do you, how do you usually go to, go to, go to work? How do you usually go to work? I usually go to work by train. I usually go to, go to, go to work, T between vowel sounds. I usually go to work by train. In this one, be careful not to say, I usually go to the work or to my job. Mm, I go to work. Number two. ¿Siempre tienes trabajo que hacer? ¿Siempre tienes trabajo que hacer? Sí, así es, pero me encanta mi trabajo. Sí, así es, pero me encanta mi trabajo. Take your time. Do you always have work to do? Do you? Do you? Auxiliary subject. Do you? Do you? Do you always have work to do? Do you? Do you? Do you? Yes, I do. I do. Up against my palate. Do, do. Not do, sino do. Aquí, aquí, aquí la lengua. Aquí. Do, do, 
do. So yes, I do, but I love my job. Yes, I do, but I love my job. In this one, be careful not to say I love my work. Eso sería como decir me encanta lo que hago, lo que produzco. No, I love my job. Lucky for him. Excellent. Moving on. Number three. Tu trabajo como técnico es asegurarte que todo funciona bien. Tu trabajo como técnico es asegurarte que todo funciona bien. Yes, take your time. Your job as a technician is making sure everything works well. Your job as a technician is making sure everything works well. And in this one, be careful not to say your work. Es your job. Es como tu responsabilidad como técnico. Your job as a technician is making sure everything works. Que todo funciona como verbo ahí. That everything works well. That's your job. So quick recap, quick summary. Work can be an action, a place, or the result of what you do. And job can be employment, responsibility, or a very specific task. And by the way, por cierto, by the way, in both cases, we can say good job or good work. When somebody does something well, we say good job, everybody. Good work, everybody. So well, everybody, good job. Keep up the good work and I'll see you in upcoming videos. Take care until then. See ya. Bye bye.